What is going on, guys? Sealy here, and today I am bringing back the Bears franchise. We're going to get this going and uh, try to upload it a lot. I had a little hiatus. I was a little bit busy, but we are back. I'm not sure if we're going to play any full games in this video, but we are going to advance a couple weeks, get to the bye week. I don't want to be behind of the actual regular season. So we're going to get to where the Bears are now in week five in real life. And then... Uh, Try to upload a couple times throughout the week and get this thing going. I want to get this. I want to make the series like a few seasons long. So I'm not trying to uh, slack on this any longer. So this week we are playing the Arizona Cardinals. We're probably just going to play the moments of this game. Probably going to play the moments of the Buccaneers game as well. But I think we are better than the Cardinals and Buccaneers. First off, in this video, we are going to negotiate a couple contracts. The first guy, Adrian Amos. He's pretty good. We also have Zach Miller that we can negotiate a contract with. Um, I'm unsure if we're going to keep Zach Miller going forward. He is 33. We do have a tight end already. We already have Trey Burton, who's 26 years of age. We have Adam Shaheen, who's 23. Zach Miller does not look like he's going to come back. We are going to sign Amos, though. Amos is 25, one of the best strong safeties in the league. See if we can go down to 3.7. We'll bump up his signing bonus to uh, 2.6. See if he takes this offer, 25 even. Really like the salary. Wish I could say the same about the bonus or duration. All right, so we're going to have to wait till next week to bump up the bonus, bump up the duration. Actually, he's not okay with the salary. Uh, all right, so next week we're just going to offer what uh, they suggested. We're going to auto-generate rookie classes because I don't want some... Uh, it's cool to have some, like... NCAA draft classes, except they aren't always the most accurate. And for this franchise, I'm not trying to get some juiced guys that you know will just be beasts and maybe develop too much. All right, so defensive tackle, it forced us to uh, scout this guy. Uh, that is unfortunate. We are going to uh, look at guards, or not guards, we're going to look at tackles and cornerbacks i feel like that is where we need the most help we also might look at right ends so foxworth b plus pass blocking oh there we go now that he's a great pass blocker that's what we need on our team b run block b pass block b minus run block we will keep a look on him let's go uh, look at the cornerbacks this cornerback class is not good. We will skip that for now. Right ends. There is one guy in the first round. Uh, yeah, he's not good. So it does not look like we are going to take an end. We might. Let's look at left ends. Left. This draft class is not good for. Let's look at first round talent. I got to. I got to see who's who's first round talent. It's not the positions we're looking for. Ooh. We might look at some outside linebackers and make them uh, ends. Ooh, we get a right tackle here. Yeah, I think tackles are going to be uh, what we need the most. Uh, the O-line has struggled a bit. Uh, that guy's not good. Wasted some uh, points. This guy's good, though. Okay, we'll keep an eye on him. We have eight scouting points left. We are done. So we scouted some tackles. Uh, a right end who is not first round talent and a defensive tackle. This guy's a beast. Six, six, three Oh five. Who knows? We might be able to, we might go after him. We are going to play the moments. Like I said, in week three against the Cardinals, we're an 80 overall. The Cardinals are a 75. Okay. Let's see if the bears can dominate the Arizona Cardinals. I'm going to skip this moment. Third down alert. Third and four. We're going to play this moment. We're going to go with the stick and nod. Burton's going to be the first option. 
Gabriel's going to be the second option. Nobody's open. Throw it out. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, that was perfectly covered. Big field goal. I will allow us to kick the field goal. Our defense is getting shredded. This defense should not be getting shredded. Are we not getting enough pressure? First and 10 in the red zone. David Johnson gets it up the middle. He gets it first down. We're going to shut down the middle here. Hope for like a pitch of some sort. And they get a touchdown. I committed on the run. They throw a touchdown. Big third down. Make the stop. The Cardinals have the ball. Why? I'm not sure. They're going for it on fourth down. I'm going to skip the moment. Third down alert. Keep the drive alive. Uh, all right. Mitch could not do it. Our defense, they are in the red zone. And they get a field goal. Okay, cool, cool. We're going to play this moment. First down and 10. We are in the red zone. Down seven points. Yeah, we have Trey Burton over the middle. Tyler Gabriel that we could hit. Gabriel is going to be hit. And he's going to get a few yards for us. Five yards on the play. Come on, can the stick and nod work here? Tried this last time. Might just have to hit Robinson on the slant. Robinson's wide open, and he gets the touchdown. Great read on there on my part to notice there was nobody else out there. Like, what is going on, defense? What is going on? Pick it off, Amos! Come on, that was right to you. Oh, they're just gonna kick the field goal here. Okay. So it's gonna be 13 to 10 to end off the half. All right, so it is halftime. We're gonna get anything going. Third down alert. Yeah, we're gonna play this moment and we are gonna go with, we're gonna go with the QB sneak. Third in inches, you would think this would be able to work. Keep this drive alive. And there we go. Trubisky gets in there. We're down six points. Touchdown. Makes us have a one-point lead. We are going to skip this moment right here. Skip this moment. And we get a touchdown. Our defense. Can we do anything with the defense? Uh, we will. Uh, we're going to play this moment here. Third down and three. Need some big points right here. Gonna go four verts. We are 23 yards out from the end zone. We're gonna send Cohen on a wheel route here. Trubisky's gonna scramble. And Trubisky gets a first down. Nice job, Mitch. Red zone alert. We're gonna skip that. And we do get a touchdown. So we're up eight points over the Cardinals. Our offense is playing well first down and 10 we're gonna skip this moment third down alert third down and eight i'll let mitch try to do this on his own big field goal parky you got this bro there we go that should be the ball game they do score a touchdown to end off the game but it's not going to do anything we win 27 to 22 Trubisky, only one touchdown, one interception, 21 of 38. Completion percentage, I would like it to get higher. Jordan Howard, almost 100 yards. Three Cohen had 38. Receiving, Burton had 102. Robinson had 89, and he had a touchdown. He really had 49. On the defensive side, Trevathan, Bullard, Mack, and Floyd each had a sack. Any picks? No. Any fumbles? No. Allen Robinson has a skill point, and same does Eddie Jackson. Look at uh, look at his ratings real quick. Speed. Uh, route running could probably be a little bit better. I would like him just to get a little bit faster. His catching stats are good. Yeah, we'll go with red zone threat. He's now an 88 overall. What does he get boosted? Acceleration, catch and traffic, release, and short route run. That's good with me. Eddie Jackson, 
Yeah, we need to boost up his zone. Or hybrid. Man coverage, play rack. No, we got to boost up his zone. Especially as a free safety. That's what has to happen. Zone coverage gets a plus one. All right. All right. So we are now 1-1-1. One, one, and one. We're going to advance to the next week. Check out the division. What the standings are. We are one game behind the Lions. The Packers are also 1-1-1. One, one, and one. The Vikings are 1-2-0. Oh. Jonathan Hankins got a, uh, a uh, boost. We're going to just boost his run-stopping ability. He gets a lot of upgrades. One Excel, one Block Show, one Hit Power, Recognition, Pursuit, and Tackle. Okay. Pretty cool. We do have a big injury decision. I forgot Akeem Hicks has been injured. When can he return? Scheduled return is the Patriots. Ooh. Are we going to have him continue to play through this? Injury rating goes down. Stamina goes down. Uh, his strength goes down. Uh, I guess we're going to have to start the backup. Especially, we're going against the Buccaneers and the Dolphins. Dolphins are 0-3. We're going to have to live without him for now. So we have four players ready to negotiate their contracts. Uh, we... We're going to negotiate with Amos. We have to make sure to pick him up. So salary, we're going to bump up. Uh, the duration's fine. Salary or signing bonus is cool. Four million. That's what he wanted before. We're going to offer it here. The salary needs improvement. All right. So we have to make sure to sign him. I cannot allow him to go into free agency. Bryce Callahan. I was just going to offer the one that they gave me. See if he takes it right length. Oh my God. These guys want their money. Eddie Goldman. He's 24 years of age. He has quick development. Uh, we're going to bump up. Let's see. Does it show what he wants? No, it does not show exactly what he wants, but we will bump that salary up to 3.5. All right, Eddie Goldman signs with ease. I will take that. Zach Miller, we still are not going to deal with. Uh, Callahan, though, and Amos, we are going to offer next week. There's one left guard. Quick scout. B pass blocker. B minus. Okay, okay. Definitely some first-round talent. Right tackle. We already looked at the first-round guys. Left ends aren't good. We're going to take a look at the outside linebackers, especially the rushers. The power rusher. Fits our scheme. Hit power, power moves, tackle. That's good. Out of Alabama. Is there any rushers? Uh, no. There's run stoppers, though. Hit power. Oh, that guy's a beast. Now, that guy, we might be able to convert to a... A... Um, Ass rusher. Akeem Hicks is out for two weeks still. James Daniels is out for four weeks. I forgot about that injury. The Buccaneers, they have no injuries on their team. They are going to be fully healthy. Let's see if our team can stop the Buccaneers and get this W. Okay, we are going to fast forward through this game. Third down alert. Third and nine. Mitch Trubisky. Big field goal. We will allow Parkey. Ooh, fourth and inches. We're going to keep the drive alive. So very early on in We're on the 18. Quarter, we are going to go with the QB sneak. Look at how close we are. Mitch Trubisky. Going to try to push his way through for the first down. And there he goes. First down alert. Continue to the next moment. Let's see if Mitch can get us a touchdown. He does. So we go for it on fourth, and we pick up the touchdown. The defense looking to stop Tampa Bay. It looks like they do. We have the ball. We are going to skip this moment. Third down alert. Roll. Keep it alive. Ooh. We're going to allow Parkey to take it. He kicks the field goal. That was like a 50-plus yarder. Buccaneers get a touchdown. Okay. 
Okay. Big third down. Make the stop. Third and eight. I'm not. All right. <laughs> so the Buccaneers do tie it up. We are going to yeah, skip. I guess get these moments to stop going as fast. Third down alert. Keep the drive alive. We are on, a, on the 13. Do what Mitch can do. He can go normal. Mitch passes for 12 yards. And Jordan Howard gets the touchdown. Leonard Floyd with the sack. They have to punt the ball away. Third down and nine. Fourth and two. Yeah, we punted. Okay. Let's see what we can do on this drive. First and 10, we get sacked. Third and 11, 17 yards to Robinson. He's showing up a lot. Kevin White gets a reception. Howard gets a rush. The Bears are making a push. Cohen gets a rush for five yards. Three yards now. Third down and two. Let's see if Mitch can do it on his own. 11 yards to Kevin White. Five-yard rush. Oh, this is looking like a great drive. Jordan Howard's demolishing this defense. Same with Cohen. The tandem. Nine yards to Burton. We are within the 10. Thrown away. Big third down from Trubisky. Knocked away. They are going to kick the field goal. I'll all parky to kick it. There we go. 10-point lead with four minutes to go. I have a lot of trust in this Bears team. We got an interception, it looks like, with Eddie Jackson. It showed for just a split second. We're going to skip this. We are back in the red zone. Mitch Trubisky looking to put this game away. Big third down, third and three. Trubisky gets his pass knocked down. We are going to kick the field goal and make it a two-score. It was already a two-score game. Now they need two touchdowns with two minutes to go. All right. Jameis is moving down the field. Let's see what he does on second down. Thrown away. Third down. Knocked away. Fourth and fourth down. Tampa Bay needs this. They get it. Penalty against Khalil Mack. Jameis Winston's driving down the field, and he gets a touchdown. 35 seconds left. I don't expect them recover it as they do oh that is ball game Jordan Howard gets the first down Mitch Trubisky kneels it and the Bears win 23 to 17 over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers so two wins in this video Trubisky 21 of 36 his completion percentage needs to get better zero touchdowns on the day Jameis Winston 17 of 31 Two touchdowns, no so picks. Howard gets 48 yards. Cohen gets 39. Where did the – Jordan Howard had two touchdowns. Where'd the other couple come from? Robinson, 110 yards. That's what I like to see, man. Kevin White had a couple receptions. He's looking to bounce back. That's good to see as well. Defense. Gervathan led us in tackles. Tackles for loss. The little Mac had two tackles for loss, one and a half sacks. Boy, two tackles for loss. He had a sack. Uh, Trevathan had half a sack. So two or three sacks on the day. No picks. What about forced fumbles? Did out a force fumbled from Eddie Jackson. Is that a touchdown? No, no defensive touchdowns. Oh, all right. So we had two rushing touchdowns. And a couple field goals. With three field goals to be exact. All right. So we do have the bye week here. And then we will end off the video. We have to sign Amos. Adrian Amos. He likes the bonus in duration. Not the salary. All right, we're going to bump up the salary to uh, $5 million per year. I hope he likes it now. $5 million per year. There we go. We re-sign Amos. I had to make sure we got him back. Uh, Callahan. I think he just did not like the salary. Yeah, he wants a boost in salary. So we'll go 3.2 and we'll bump up his signing bonus to 1.75. 14 and a half. Almost 15 mil 
over the next three years. Does he take it? Yes, he does. Aaron Lynch, O'Donnell. Um, O'Donnell. Probably pass on O'Donnell. Aaron Lynch, he's only 25. Did not expect him to be that young. We'll see what his development is. It is normal. Um, Four years. How's he playing? We will wait a little bit on Aaron Lynch. Wait to see how he plays out. Uh, look at his stats at the end of the year. I know Kolo Max in that spot, but that's just what's going to happen. So to end off this video, we are second place in the NFC North. We are 2-1-1. One, one. The Packers are 3-1-1. One, one. The Lions started off 2-1. and one. They are now 2-3. and three. The Vikings are 1-4. and four. It's going to be intense all the way up to the end of the playoffs. In the next video, we will be playing the Miami Dolphins, who are 1-4 and four in Miami. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe down below. Seely and I am out. Peace.